Men as the prize. Men are upfront about not wanting to be exclusive with any woman. Top tier men don't compete for women. Women compete to land the most eligible bachelor. So again, I'm thinking of a guy like in any field, the dude that's like top tier in his industry or his business or his career or CEO of a certain company, like, you know, again, somebody like a Tom Brady, who's just like the best in the business, the best it's ever done quarterbacking in the NFL of anybody that's ever played the game. It's a guy like that's going to social functions. He's a handsome man. He's in shape. And women are going to be approaching him left and right and shooting their shot because the women know there, there's only one dude like that in the whole in the whole world that's at his industry or the successful musician or the guy that's the entrepreneur and has the, the big company or, or whatever. It's women compete to – because, again, the hypergamy. They, mm-hmm. they want the best they can get. And Absolutely. you know, just like the guy – the 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 plumber that's the alpha or like your your ex boyfriend after your ex husband wasn't as successful financially as the ex husband but because he acted like a man you felt safe and comfortable and you were willing to live a lifestyle that didn't have all the luxuries and things that came along I with I was super attracted guy. to him like attraction's not a choice well, I was like a magnet to him like wow like a lightning bolt. That's just, I, I will say that um, you're going to have people commenting on that saying, well, not all of us can, can have that kind of success. You're going to have those guys reply. It, you know, guys then, will say, well, it's, money's not the true measure of success or that. Just well, I don't have well, talent. What if you don't have talents? What if you're not famous footballer? Well, what if you're, you're the, the head plumber or maybe you're a superintendent yeah. and, for a plumbing company running a, a big multi-million dollar job and you're earning a really good salary because you're a, a great kick-ass exactly. manager. You work for other people. You're not a millionaire. You get a nice retirement. Yep. But maybe you're making six figures or multiple six figures. Because you climbed your ladder. And you own it. You, you climb, yeah, you climbed the ladder because you love the work. You love being outdoors. You love doing things with your hands. You're good with hiring and firing people and running teams. And so because of that, you're good at organizing. You're good at management. And therefore, you get compensated accordingly. And or a bartender. Hot. A bartender yeah. that is in good shape, good physique. And instead of just working at a restaurant that's not doing well, He's going to go work at the place that are serving the steak dinners, the average three or four hundred dollar check type of dinners when it's you know a, a couple of people, three or four people, the the checks three or four hundred bucks because he's going to work smarter, not mm-hmm. harder. He's going to earn the typical twenty percent on the yeah. check, and it just common sense. Just like when you're in sales, if you're selling higher ticket items, your commission and your revenue is going to be bigger, and so. You, you, know, you look at like the AOC who is you know, saying, oh, poor me, I couldn't make enough money. Well, it's this pretty girl that was working in a bar and obviously the bar wasn't doing well. And if she had half a brain and was smart and understood the science of high achievement fundamentals, she would have gotten dressed up and looking good and gone over to the most expensive steak and high-end type restaurants in New York and gotten a job waiting tables there or and crushed it in, in exactly and crushed it and done the same work where she could make more money but instead she goes oh it's the system's rigged against me yeah poor me I'm gonna go in government I'm gonna make sure I get you you know those evil rich people I'm gonna get their money I'm gonna take their money I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to you that's not attractive I find ambition and confidence and hope and, and saying I'm going to get it that that's so attractive to me that that I don't have it now but I'm going to get it I'm going to be the top of my game and it yeah just like you're saying it, you don't have to be a Tom Brady or a celebrity or a multimillionaire just like just be the top it, in your field at what yes. you do maybe you're a mechanic and you love working on cars yes. and so you're the 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 top mechanic that's running the shop. Or you're building a beautiful bike and it's artistry, you know? It's like, it's something you're so passionate about. That's hot. That's attractive. Women love that. Somebody who's just really ambitious and grinds and has hope and vision. 
He doesn't have to be at the top. He, he's, he's working towards the top. That's attractive. 